If you ask college students what their main priorities are, school, work, going out, and their future might be the response you get. But the most crucial thing they often leave out is their health. Reporter Jessica Gilbert explains why some students forget to take care of themselves. According to a University of Michigan study, college students and their health just don't get along. Counseling and Wellness Services Associate Director Zavetta Holman Nash says, in order for students to successfully tackle academics, have a healthy social life, and smartly plan their futures, their health needs have to be a priority. Of course, the primary reason that a student comes to this university is to elevate their academic uh, learning and to, to elevate their knowledge level. But there's learning also that takes place outside of the classroom. And that learning has to do with how to um, navigate the campus, how to make decisions that impact your health. Eating out a lot, eating the wrong things, excessive coffee and alcohol intake, and lack of fitness become a lifestyle for many students throughout college. UNC senior Vanessa Collier admits her health hasn't always been one of her priorities. I was definitely very busy um, when I first stepped on campus. Like I didn't have time to think about my health or nutrition. It is a cycle. It is a cycle because one almost invariably impacts the other. Nash says time management is the key. When students mismanage their time, it can take a toll on their health. Like I'll have class, then I also work, then I also am, you know, a member of various organizations that I feel like, you know, I have to devote time to that as well. So I really just don't have time to, you know, whip up the grill and do a full course, you know, healthy kind of meal. Knowing how to prioritize your time better can lead to more nutritious choices and ultimately boost your immune system, which in turn allows you to think more clearly, make wise decisions, and get sick less often. In Chapel Hill, I'm Jessica Gilbert, Carolina Week. If you're having, having trouble studying for exams, you might want to try taking a break and exercising. A study shows that exercise boosts brain power. Experts say as people exercise, they grow new brain cells in the memory region. Increased blood flow to the brain helps elevate brain function. The more fit the person, the more blood flows to the brain. Researchers hope to find a specific exercise regimen that will help people build their memories. The North Carolina Health Careers Access Program wants everyone in our community to stay healthy. On Saturday, the group held its annual Health on the Block Fair, which included many vendors from the Chapel Hill community, as well as the university. Adult participants were able to learn about diseases like cancer and HIV. UNC's dental school told participants how to keep their teeth healthy, and the nursing school checked participants' blood pressure. Senior Christina Brown says it was a pleasure to promote health. We've helped, I think, a couple people, and a lot of young children, too, we've helped today, who need to get off the couch and start running around. And some of the children were doing just that while this little guy enjoyed a free treat. Spring is officially here and you might be looking forward to getting a tan. But reporter Brendan Anderson explains why you might want to avoid one popular form of tanning. Lindsay Simpson works out in tans at Chapel Ridge Apartments three times a week. She says she's not worried about the danger of tanning. I'm a Florida girl. I love the sun, so I, I can't help it. <laughs> But a new report links indoor tanning directly to skin problems like melanoma. It says UV concentration is what increases cancer rates. There are 51 bulbs in this stand-up tanning booth, and each one produces a more powerful ray than the midday sun. In fact, tanning beds can produce rays 10 to 15 times more intense than the sun. Tanning bed users are 15% more likely to contract melanoma, and people under the age of 35 are the most at risk. The study recommends that people tan more outdoors and avoid tanning beds. Simpson realizes the dangers. I'm aware of it, and I know it's not good. The consequences of tanning indoors aren't good either. You're looking at pictures of melanoma spots that can result from indoor tanning. Melanoma can lead to more dangerous skin cancers. Quite a price to pay just for tanning indoors. In Chapel Hill, I'm Brendan Anderson, Carolina Week. Simpson says she prefers tanning outdoors, but won't give up tanning beds despite the dangers. A UNC student dance group has created a program just like the ones featured at famous museums like the Smithsonian. The modern extension dance company reconstructed the historic choreography of dance pioneer Isadora Duncan with the help of internationally known dancer Shane Stott. When Duncan began dancing in the 1780s, her ideas were scandalous. She shunned the confining ties of the corset and used her movements to express her deepest thoughts and emotions. The company is celebrating its 20th anniversary. 
And we're joined now by weathercaster Mallory Nichols. Hey. So Mallory, I always forget how many people are on campus until it gets warm outside. It has been really nice lately. The nice weather we've been having has been has kept people out on campus and the trees but will the nice weather stay or will a gust of cold weather come and blow it away? I'll let you know when we come back.